Hello and welcome to Media Academy Online. Now, we're all going through a tough time at the moment where a lot of us are stuck inside. So in light of this, I thought I'd make a quick video with some footage that I filmed in January at Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast here in Australia. Since all the theme parks are shut, this is the second best way of experiencing the exhibition that they're running at the moment. At Warner Brothers Movie World, they're running an exhibition called Studio Showcase, which showcases a series of costumes, props, cars, and a number of other things from Warner Brothers IP. So without further ado, let me guide you through this exhibition and everything it had to show. So once in the park, when you find the building where the exhibition is held, you'll see a series of posters from various films from the Warner Brothers catalogue. And these posters for these films all has related content within the exhibition. As you enter the showcase, you see a continuation of these posters, now showing in a cinema kind of context, where you've got now shown written with these posters shown. They then show various costumes from the film The Great Gatsby, which is a great Australian film. You see the exact costumes worn by people like Leonardo DiCaprio and others. They also show off the iconic yellow car from that film. You then move on to Shazam, where you see the costumes worn by the actors in that film. As you enter into the main part of the exhibition, we see Justice League costumes shown, as well as some more cars. We see all the big players' costumes there, including people like Margot Robbie and Will Smith. Then moving on, we see costumes from Wonder Woman, again with costumes that were worn by these well-known actors. Moving on, we then see a series of props and costumes from A Star Is Born. As well as my favourite, costumes from Mad Max, as well as the iconic car scene in the film Fury Road. Throughout the park, you can also see other attractions, such as a stunt driver performance, Stunt Driver 2. This I really enjoyed. They got all of the audience involved, where people could stand up and dance and be seen on the big screen, as well as pulling a handful of these people from the audience to be involved with the show itself. All in all, it was great to see all these props and costumes on display because it really brings home the process of making films and adds a realism and a glimpse behind the camera into what's involved with making these films. And since so many people come to these theme parks, it really allows people to get an understanding of the filmmaking process, even in a little way. And anything that encourages people to get inspired by the filmmaking process and get involved themselves and maybe even pick up their own camera, that's something that should be applauded. 